potholes are something all of us have had to deal with. It seems like more so even this right. year. <laughs> and new tonight at 6, one man is taking his complaints to the other side of the globe to make a point. News 9's Nick Robinson is live in Wausau with how he and other people are feeling about our roads and what the city says it can and can't do. Yeah, Brad, I'm here on East Wausau Avenue, where, as you can see, you don't have to go very far to find a pothole, which is exactly why this sign behind me is here. We had better roads in Vietnam. That's the idea Patrick Meyer got, tired of driving home and having his car shake from hitting several potholes. Last year I had a sign that said, fix road, please, and I got nothing. So this time I thought, well, let's go a little bigger. And I got a bigger sign and I got letters that glow at night. Meyer is a Vietnam War vet and knows a thing or two about how the roads down there were. It led him to compare how he believes Wausau is fixing the roads to his time in the war. It's like putting a band-aid on a major wound. Well, come on, guys, fix the road. Saying that the potholes are not only damaging his car and others, but also his wallet. It cost me $700 for a new pair of ball joints in the front of my RAV4. And Meyer isn't the only resident fed up with road conditions. Diane McMahon has lived here for four years and is pushing for the city to do more to fix the potholes. But I think that they really need to consider making it a priority because, you know, because of the damage that it can do to vehicles. They're damaging to cars and dangerous to people. Eric Lindman from the City Department of Public Works saying that the city is working to patch as many potholes as they can, but also saying that the city has not been saving enough money to deal with road issues. We're looking at over $100 million in, uh, in our current budgets for our local streets. We try to put in up to $2 million a year, so we're not really keeping up. Also saying that since East Wausau connects to State Highway 52, they don't get as much say in the matter, since Wisconsin DOT has jurisdiction. Lindman did say that the DOT does have some repairs scheduled, but not until 2029, leaving only temporary fixes in the meantime. Live in Wausau, Nick Robinson, News 9, WAOW.